in structural geology, it's often useful to be able to work out the angle between two lines on a plane. You could, for example, have two different mineral lineations in a polydeformed metamorphic rock, and you want to know what the angle is between these two lineations. This clip shows how to plot two lines on a stereogram and determine the angle between them. There are two lines to plot. The first line has a plunge of 21 degrees in the direction 218 degrees. The second line plunges at an angle of 38 degrees in the direction 284 degrees. Mark the pole on the tracing paper. Count 218 degrees around the primitive circle. Remember the heavy lines are at 10 degrees and that subdivisions are at 2 degrees. Mark on the tracing paper this direction of plunge. Rotate the tracing paper so that this mark lies on the north pole on the stereo net. The line plunges at 21 degrees, so count the small circles from the north pole on the primitive circle and mark on the tracing paper the point that shows a plunge of 21 degrees. Rotate the tracing paper so that the north pole is in its original position. Count 284 degrees around the primitive circle. Mark on the tracing paper this direction of plunge. Rotate the tracing paper so that this mark lies on the north pole of the stereonet. The line plunges at an angle of 38 degrees, so count the small circles from the north pole on the primitive circle. Mark on the tracing paper the point that shows a plunge of 38 degrees. Rotate the tracing paper until the two plots lie on the same great circle. Draw a dotted line along the great circle between the two points and count the small circles between the two points to determine the angle between the two lines. In this case, the angle between the two lines is 51 degrees. Record this measurement on the tracing paper.